Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendra and welcome back to BTNX. Today we are diving into a topic that can significantly boost your productivity using micros to automate repetitive tasks. Before we get started, I want to mention something exciting. BTNX is hosting an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AA tools. The link is in the description and we'll talk more about it later in the video. Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day to day life? What if I tell you that you're wasting 95% of your time while you're doing so? How so you will be asking me? Because you're not using chat GPT and AI tools while doing all of these work. So why should you care about automating repetitive tasks? Well, in a world where time is of the essence, efficiency is key. Macros can be a game changer, saving you time and effort in your daily tasks. Whether you are working with spreadsheets, documents or emails, macros can streamline your workflow. Now let's dive into the details. In this video, to create a macro to automate some of the tasks in Excel, we are going to use ChatGPT. So let's begin. First, let's ask ChatGPT what is a macro in Excel. As you can see, a macro is a sequence of instructions or commands that are recorded and saved for the purpose of automating repetitive tasks. It allows you to automate complex or repetitive tasks by recording a series of actions and then replying them with a single click or keyboard shortcut. Macros are written in a programming language called Visual Basic for Applications. VBA. Here is a brief overview of how macros work in Excel. First recording a macro, then performing actions. After that stopping the recording, running the macro, at the end editing the macro. So let's create a dummy data to perform a repetitive task using macro. So let's ask ChatGPT to create a dummy data for that. So here is a dummy data. So let's copy this thing to our Excel sheet. Then we will create a macro for this thing. Okay. First, let's copy this data. As you can see, we have copied the dummy data. So in first column, we are having dates. In second column, we are having item A, item B and like that. Then we are having sales for that particular items. So let's see, record a macro. After that, perform calculations. With the macro recording, perform the following actions. Select the cell where you want to display the total sales. Let's say B8. Enter the formula. So sum these things to calculate the total sales. Move to the cell where you want to display the average sales. Then this formula, average formula calculate the average sales so then we have to run the macro we have to verify the results let's ask chart gpt to write a vba code to run the ebo macro okay as you can see we got the VBA code 
to calculate the seeds. Before we copy the VBA code and paste it in our VBA editor in Excel, I want to tell you something which is very important. A is taking over the world in such a short span of time. We have seen so many layoffs, millions of jobs replaced by AI and whatnot. You don't want to get affected by this recession wave, right? Well, AI won't replace you, but the person using AI will. If you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career, join our two hour Microsoft Office using AI Tools Workshop, in which we will teach you about the best AI tools to upskill, increase your productivity, and enhance your career. Make your future secure with us. Join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description now. Now, back to our main topic. So let's copy the VBA code. So what we have to do is we have to go to developer tab. If developer tab is not enabled in your Excel, go to Excel options and enable it. Here we have to click on visual basic. So here what we have to do is we have to go to insert. Then we have to click on module. Here we have to paste the code which we have just copied. Okay. Here we can close this thing. Then we have to click on save. Here we have to save this Excel file in macro enabled workbook format. Okay. Just click on save. 